1130 at Hotel Edison in Midtown Manhattan, New York City. Let's have a look. First thing on your left is the bathroom. It's small, but it's attractively tiled. Seems like it's been updated not too long ago. Next on your right is a smallish closet. Honestly, look at this. <laughs> the shirts barely fit in it. There's a shelf at the top. King size bed in this room. With built in side tables. Coffee maker. Ice bucket and water. Those are gratis. And on the other side, phone, clock radio. Can't really see those well. So let's deal with the, the lights here. You can see it better. So you've got a couple of reading lights. Let you see that a little bit better. You see here, you've got outlets and USB ports. And there's lots of outlets around the floor of the room. And here and there and halfway down and over here. You're not going to be wanting for places to plug things in. See here we've got a flat screen television mounted on the wall. A pretty nice room. What I will tell you is that my experience today has been that the lobby is kind of a madhouse. It's almost as if the crowd from Times Square, which is less than a block in that direction, that part of that crowd has found its way into the lobby of this hotel. Uh, it's a very busy, very popular hotel. I can see why. There are lots of great amenities. It's got two different restaurants. They do a show with dinner on some nights. I'm going to be doing that. And it's really good looking. Uh, aside from having a great location, it's got entrances and exits both on 47th Street and on 46th Street. I went right across the street to see Samuel L. Jackson in the piano lesson. It's, it's a really nice, really convenient location uh, with great amenities. But it's also because it's so popular and in such a great location, that crowd sort of spills over. Um, and it was a little bit stressful <laughs> coming in and out of the lobby and getting checked in, getting your bags. There was always somebody in your way. Um, now maybe that was just today, maybe today was a bad day, but that's what I experienced today. All right, it is the second day of my trip and I wanna check in on some of what's going on in this room of mine at Hotel Edison. First off, when it's dark out, this is pretty much as bright as it can be in this room. I have every single provided light on. I have switched on every single light switch. Even the bathroom light is on. There's no top light here. So this is the brightest it can be. It's not really a concern for me, but it could be a concern for someone else that, that they just don't feel like they can get enough light in here. The water pressure here in the shower is actually great. And we get nice hot water for showers in the morning. This is a thumbs up. Like I showed you last night, there are lots of power plugs all around the place, okay? Very little concern about the number of power plugs. 
Okay, what there is a concern about, however, is the USB ports, okay? Because not all of these USB ports actually work. See that, that's so loose. I'm not confident that that one would work. This one worked. It went in nice, it grabbed on, and this charged overnight, okay? However, that one over there, I plugged one in there. I thought it had latched on pretty good, but I woke up to my primary phone at 1% because it did not charge overnight. So you're probably going to want to bring your own solution, to bring something that plugs into the outlet and has USB ports on it. Like this one here that I've got, which I'll be making use of tonight. I brought it with me. I just didn't use it last night because I thought that their USB ports were gonna work for me. They didn't really, only the one worked. Okay, so I'm gonna use this one tonight. And I have this, this plug-in right here that I did use last night. So bring in something that has the adapters that you need. Uh, I'm one person, but I have to charge five items most nights. Let's take a look at the window this morning because last night it was dark. There was no way of looking at anything. Let's look today. Okay, here is the shade to our window. Pretty good. All right. Comes up on a chain here. Okay. There's the dark shade and here is sort of the translucent shade you can kind of see through. Let's raise that up. So you've got some choices as to how much light you want in. You can leave them both down, you can leave them both up, or you can leave one of them down. Okay, this is in room number 830. This is what I can see. Uh, you're looking across to other rooms. Um, if you turn to the right, you're looking at another building. You're looking at some sort of exhaust pipe there. Uh, I'm not sure what that video is that's going on in that room across the way. It looks like that might be a gym or something. Uh, but again, uh, oh no, that's a reflection from Times Square. But I can't see really anything. This, this is basically what I'm looking at. A mild downgrade. I, I would like to have something better to look at, but eh, not a big deal. Let's look at this, because this is a bonus for Hotel Edison. They've got a couple of restaurants that are right here on property. And when you check in, they give you these little vouchers for breakfast, okay? It seems like this is only for breakfast, but you get free grab and go breakfast at a couple of places, or it makes it so you only have to spend $5 here at Friedman's Cafe on a sit-down meal. That's probably what I'm going to do. This is Friedman's. Here are the options on the breakfast voucher. So I'm gonna pay $5 for this meal. I went with the two eggs of any style. Okay, that comes with a potato hash and toast and a drink. Uh, it was a coffee or a juice. Unfortunately, I didn't like any of those choices, so I'm just gonna be having water for breakfast and I'll deal with my caffeine needs later on. Okay, so here is my $5 breakfast. Not bad, not bad. Also, it's handy, it's right here in the hotel. Let's take a look at exactly how close the theater was last night. See, I just walked out of Friedman's and there's the theater I went to the show at last night. And here are the theaters out of the 46th Street entrance to Hotel Edison. Look, here's Lin-Manuel Miranda's huge hit, Hamilton. It's right, see, there's the back door. And there's Hamilton. And over here is the marquee with Beetlejuice. They've got 
about 145 restaurant here and Friedman's at the other end. Let's talk about the elevators here at Hotel Edison. There are six, count them, six elevators for what is a very tall hotel building. It goes over 18 stories. So there are lots of rooms on every story. So yeah, uh, it's a high capacity hotel here in Midtown Manhattan. The elevators get crowded and not everyone can make these elevators work. If you've got a friend staying at Hotel Edison, they're gonna need to come down and get you if they want you to come up to their room with you. Uh, their room key is needed in order to use the elevator. If you just get in there with no hotel key, it's not gonna take you anywhere. <laughs> you need that hotel key. Uh, you scan it right above where the push numbers are, and then you push the number of the floor that you need to go to. It's pretty simple, um, but you know how the hotel keys are. Sometimes it takes a couple of tries to make it work, but I imagine it's worth it for security's sake, because like I said, it's a very busy lobby. Not quite as busy this morning as what I saw yesterday, but it's a very busy lobby. I mean, it's steps from Times Square. Times Square is right there. I see the reflections of the huge light up signs from Times Square in the windows of the buildings I can see out my window here. <laughs> All right, it's that close. Um, so it's probably good that you have to have your room key in order to make those elevators work. Would I stay at Hotel Edison again? Yes, yes, it's in a great location. I mean, I'm like a three minute walk from the TKTS discount theater tickets booth. It's right there. And that's something that I'll be doing anytime I come to New York City. So it's nice to be in this location. The room is more than good enough for what I need. There's lots of amenities. They've, they've got a dinner show, for crying out loud. There were two hotel restaurants that I didn't sit down in. So, you know, in order to get a, a full experience of Hotel Edison, I probably would need to come back and experience those. 